I'm Brian Hernandez bringing you the top headlines this week for Plant-Based News. Yet more data is showing the rapid growth of the global milk alternative market. The global market for plant-based dairy alternative drinks is forecast to top a massive $16.3 billion next year, up dramatically from $7.4 billion in 2010. Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin has, quote, declared war on almond milk as part of her bid for re-election in 2018. The success of plant-based milk is an issue for dairy farmers in Wisconsin, a largely Republican area, which voted 71% in favor of Donald Trump last year. Democrat Tammy Baldwin is trying to tap into this and has had several measures to do just that, including introducing a bill to ban plant milks from being sold as milk, quote unquote. Strategies like this come hot on the heels of complaints from rural voters that Democrats forgot them in the 2016 election. The party is trying to reconnect with these lost voters. In a ruling hailed as a victory for the dairy industry, an EU court has ruled that plant-based products cannot use dairy-style names. Vegan dairy alternative products cannot be sold within the EU under names such as milk, butter, or cheese. The court cites customer confusion as the reason for the ruling, however, in doing so, fails to acknowledge that the rising demand for plant-based products is not because people are confused, but in fact they are becoming increasingly aware that plant-based products are better for their health, the environment, and for animals. Alexander Anton, Secretary General of the European Dairy Association, described the ruling as, quote, a good day for dairy, a good day for European citizens, and a good day for Europe. A large Canadian chicken farm has fired five workers, including at least one supervisor, after a disturbing undercover video showing extreme cruelty has been released. The workers at Elite Farm Services in British Columbia were shown throwing, hitting, running over, and simulating sex acts with chickens in the video which was filmed by Charity Mercy for Animals. A statement from Elite Farm Services President Dwayne Duke said, we are sickened with the footage and want to ensure all our suppliers and producers that this is not reflective of who we are, our fundamental beliefs or behaviors we accept from our employees. According to a study published in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition, a plant-based diet can actually lead to greater weight loss than a calorie equivalent diabetes diet. After the first 12 weeks, those in the veggie group lost nearly twice as much weight, around 14 pounds, compared to those following the traditional diabetes diet with an average weight loss of 7 pounds. Dr. Kolova says the weight loss did not continue during the exercise program. When you exercise, you gain some muscle, however, the participants following the vegetarian diet lost some visceral fat, which is the fat which is stored around our organs. A private vegan preschool and kindergarten will open in Cincinnati, Ohio in January of 2018. The main impetus is for students to manifest the most exquisite versions of themselves, says Carolyn Cadwell, one of the school's founders. Now more than ever with kids being bullied and having low self-esteem, integrating practices like yoga, mindfulness, and meditation helps kids deal with stress and pressure in a healthy way rather than taking it out on others. This extends to the food served to the students, which Caldwell says will be healthy, organic, seasonal, and plant-based, using produce grown on the school's own premises. Born This Way singer Lady Gaga has teamed up with Starbucks to create a line of vegan drinks. Two new creations, Matcha Lemonade and Violet Drink, will join Pink Drink and Ombre Cream Drink as instant summer favorites, which are said to be, quote, as delicious and refreshing as they are beautiful. Despite the best efforts of dog meat traders to promote it, the people of Yulin, China, according to a new study, do not regularly consume dog meat. Conducted in May of this year, the survey shows that the majority of Yulin residents, 72%, do not regularly eat dog meat, indicating that dog meat eating is not part of the culinary mainstream in Yulin. Only 28% eat it on a regular basis, with a mere 12% eating dog meat weekly. A health organization of the NHS has been forced to backtrack on a job advertisement that is perceived by many as discriminatory towards vegans. The advertisement for an occupational therapist for eating disorders stated that applicants following vegan diets, quote, could not be considered. The Vegan Society challenged the trust about the legality of the advertisement along with associates from the International Vegan Rights Alliance. The Society also asked the Equality and Human Rights Commissions to examine the potentially unlawful direct discrimination against vegans. 
The plant-based documentary What the Health is now available for streaming on Netflix. The movie, which comes from the team behind the iconic film Cowspiracy, is described by its creators as the health documentary that health organizations don't want you to see. Filmmakers Keegan Kuhn and Kip Anderson add, The film follows intrepid filmmaker Anderson as he uncovers the secrets to preventing and even reversing chronic diseases and investigates why the nation's leading health organizations don't want us to know about it. For more stories like this from all over the globe, visit us at plantbasednews.org.